Hello and welcome to week two of the waterhole cam. Starting off nice and slowly with a little tortoise you can see on the back right hand side trundling off. There was a hell of a lot going on this week and so I had to do a lot of editing but that's at least a nice slow start. And this is a waterback, a male waterback. We used to get a lot more of them around here than we do now. As the lion population increased, they started to thin out the waterback. Lions love waterback because they're big and slow and they don't really defend themselves. I'm not sure how they survive at all. About to appear in the bottom left hand corner. Here it comes, it's a little animal called a genet. Little predator, it looks like a cat but it's more related to mongooses. Very rarely see them during the day, almost always at night. after last week's miserable weather so we had all the usual planes game coming back in. This is the first of several line sightings we had this week. So it turns out they do visit more frequently than we realized. First day, vandalism coming right up. Who's it going to be? a little bit of interest in the camera, the, the bigger ones, but it's the young lioness on the left still drinking. She was the culprit. looks as if she's looking around to see if anyone's watching her. But there was probably somebody up at the house. Now the battery was well hidden, quite well hidden. It was tucked in behind a log so she couldn't actually see it but knew it was there and that was a moment where she waltzed off with it. Managed to find it the next morning about 50 meters away. Unscathed. I was quite surprised that she didn't actually damage it. We haven't had zebra here as often in the last couple of weeks. No, they do have their own little local movements.
I think we've had more lion sightings at the waterhole in the last few weeks since I've had the camera up than we normally get in a year. Because in the past, unless you happen to be looking there, or sometimes if they're called, you wouldn't know that they were there. these three big bulls pitched up. We haven't had them here for a long time, but they came straight to the water hole, so they've been here before. And they started off peacefully at first, but there is a, a sump on the left hand side of the water hole, you can just about see on the very left hand side, another elephant. And that water is fresher because the water goes in there first and then into the water hole, and that's the prime spot. And I think this one the one in the full screen, he, he got a bit frustrated after a while that he couldn't get to the best water and decided to take it out on the camera. And another lion. There is a small group of two females and two cubs, one of which was the one that took the battery, and they've split off from the main pride, and they've spent a few weeks here now. I think they're concentrating mostly on impala, which are quite small, and it's not enough for a big group of lions. So when that happens, they tend to split up into smaller groups. They may join up together at a later stage. Lying on the side of the water hole on the left, there's a, a jackal, black back jackal. Very busy little animals. You very rarely see them walk anywhere. They seem to only have two speeds trot and run. This guy was not happy with the camera. 
I think it's a different one to the ones earlier. His tusks aren't quite as thick. And this is like one of those found footage horror movies. Really not a pretty sight, the close-up of an elephant. It's very thought for all the people out there who were killed by elephants and that was the last thing that they saw. just to add insult to injury. The next morning I went down to the water hole to retrieve the camera. I had to wait first for a breeding herd of elephants to disperse and once they had gone I found the camera lying on the ground near where the lioness is now. I didn't check the camera immediately, I had to go away for a couple of days so when I came back I was surprised first of all to found the lion and then I wanted to see who the culprit was and there were plenty of suspects because it turns out there were elephants coming through here right through the night. Um, females and little ones well as younger males, and it wasn't the lioness. I thought it might have been this one, this is a, a female, she has very thin tusks and I thought she might have got agitated what with the, the babies around, but she came close and, and that was it, it wasn't her. Here is the culprit. Female by the looks of it with the with thin tusks, you can see a little baby behind her. around big sharp rocks. Elephants don't like standing on loose rocks and also we're going to put in a tree stump to make it a little bit more natural. So that's it for this week. Hopefully we have some interesting stuff next week.